Welcome, I'm from Langston, HTC Desire 21 Pro and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification on this phone. So obviously you can see that the one right here is locked and I can unlock it either using a uh, Google account or if I go back using the pattern that was previously set on the device. And assuming we don't know either of those, what we can do is bypass it by going back to the first page. So from here, you're gonna start off by um, either connecting to Wi-Fi if you haven't done that done this yet. So yeah, do that right now and then go back to the first page. If you have already connected to Wi-Fi like I did, then all you need to do now is change the language. So let's tap on the languages and select any language that uses a different keyboard. So for this, I'm just gonna be using Greek, but you can use uh, Russian or any other Cyrillic language that will work as well. Um, so from there, we're gonna progress to the setup and if you're not sure what to press, uh, because you might be using language that you don't understand, you can just simply follow where I'm pressing because uh, those buttons will be in the same location. Now once you see the pattern or pin, whatever may, that might be the case for you, I want to tap right here to use Google account instead. And tap on a, ser a search bar about the field right here to log into Google account. This will bring up a keyboard where you will see uh, a globe icon. Now, if you don't see a globe icon, go back to the language settings and change it to any kind of other language. And if you do see the, uh, the globe icon, then you're fine. So let's hold the globe icon and start off by changing it on the keyboard to QWERTY. So the second option right there, hold it again and then go to language settings, which is this text right, off, right below. This will take you to this page over here. So what you want to do now is tap on the uh, language settings right at the bottom or or no it was uh, add keyboard my bad uh, that's basically what it's called and then select any kind of keyboard right here from the list that does not have an arrow as you can see there is four different ones with an arrow so completely skip those for now and select any option without it so i'm gonna go with the first one there we go first one and from here i'm gonna tap on the blue button at the bottom add and this basically adds a keyboard so once you have added another keyboard, go back again to the first page and change the language back to your desired one, which for me is going to be English. And again, let's get back to the place that we just were. Again, let's call the globe icon, language settings, add keyboard. And this time around, we're looking for an option with an arrow. So scroll down and as you can see, there's Albanian as the first one. So I'm going to select that one. And then here you want to tap on the three dots, go to help and feedback. And then in the describe your issue field, you want to type in just two simple, simple letters, M, O, and it will bring up use Morse code as a suggested option, as you can see right over here. So tap on it. As you can see, there is a video here. So what you want to do is click on it. This will load up the video and give us a three dots on it. So you want to tap on it for more settings and choose watch later, which will open up web browser. From here, accept and continue and no thanks. And this will load up our browser right here, Chrome. So right at the top, uh, tap on the field and type in hard reset that info. like so. If you need a moment, pause the video. And from here, once it loads up, uh, this annoying pop-up will come up. So let's just consent. There's no other option. And then tap on the three bars, go to download, scroll down. And actually, let me see if I can find it quickly. So it's right over here below in the download category. That's basically what we're looking for. Uh, FRP bypass Android 712 slash 10. Now you could also just simply type it in here. So just type in Android 7 and this narrows it down to only two options. So once you find this option right here, simply click on the download, scroll down and again, click on download over here confirm it this will start downloading you can tap on details to see it or wait for it to download and then choose open 
Uh, now by opening up, we want to install it basically, but before we actually can, uh, Android blocks us because Google is not allowed to do such a thing. So we need to go into these settings, uh, check the box allow from this source so we can actually open up and install apps from Chrome or that have been downloaded through Chrome. Go back and choose install. And once it's done installing, click on done. Now tap on the top and which one I type in now is hard reset that info slash bypass. Now I'm going to copy this previous link and just simply paste it in here and remove it up to here. Okay, so as you can see hard reset info slash bypass. There we go. So again, if you need a moment, you can pause it or you could do as I did and copy the link and just add bypass instead of download. So this will take you right over to this site. So from here, click on the settings app and this opens up the settings on your phone. And what we want to do right now is start by going to the apps and notifications, see all 36, then three dots, show system and scroll down to Google Play services. So here we go, Google Play services and Google Play store. So you want to tap on one of them. Uh, I chose services as the first one, then tap disable, disable app, go back and choose the other one, just play store for me, disable, disable app, go back. So as you can see, both of them are now disabled. So let's go back, back once more to the main settings page. And now we want to scroll down to accounts, tap on add account and choose Google. Now this will automatically launch the uh, FRP bypass app that we have installed uh, and basically the moment you tap on continue it will also crash but that's completely fine so okay there's the crash cool doesn't matter um, now why I'm saying it doesn't matter uh, this app allowed us to actually choose Google as an option in accounts when the device is locked uh, without this app uh, Google is not a option overall in the account so you cannot add Google as an account once the device is locked. So this basically brings it back. So from here let's stop on the field and log in with our Google account. Now you could create one if you don't have a Google account uh, even though we do have a button for it right over here I have never tested it so I'm not really sure if it works. Uh, so I would recommend you to do it through your computer and then go back to your phone and log in once you've created that account on your computer. Um, Alternatively, you can just use an existing account, which is what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to put in the password. So let me just move it out of this the shot. Okay. And as you can see, it just logged in. Let's agree. And there we go. There is our account. So once you have added your account, go back. Uh, Go to apps and notifications and re-enable the apps that you have disabled. So again, show system, scroll down. Oops, a little bit too far. There we go. Google Play Store, Play Services. So let's start off with, with services, enable, go back. Now I'll mention this pop-up will show up plenty more times. Whenever it does, just click anywhere on the screen. It will disappear, as you can see. So once you have enabled the Play Services, go back and then go to Play Store and also enable that. And once you have enabled both of them, which you can see right here, they're both are enabled. Um, hold Power Key and select Restart. Okay, so now that the factory or well, the reboot has finished, what we want to do is go through the setup process as quick as we can skipping basically everything that we can uh, again going back to this pop-up completely disregarded so what we want to do is just skip to it uh, because right now it really doesn't matter how we set up our device um, the difference is right now after adding the account it will allow us to progress further through the setup uh, we basically tricked the device into thinking that we have logged in as you will see right over here i believe yep there it is so as you can see it tells us uh, account added and provide us with the account that we have uh, logged in with right before we rebooted the device. So let's just tap on next and 
finish up the setup right here. Okay, so as you can see, we are now on the home screen. So what you want to do right now is go into the settings, scroll all the way down, go to system, advanced, reset options, and then erase all data, factory reset. And here it will give us an information that this will remove our Google account that we have logged in with. Actually, it doesn't really matter here. Uh, but what does matter is it will also remove the uh, previously set pattern that was on this device. That was one of the ways of unlocking it. And also the old Google account, which was blocking us from finishing it up, uh, finishing up, up the setup, which is still on the device. It's not provided here, but it is. And if you basically reset the device any other way uh, than through the settings, this device would go back to being locked. So that's why we're finishing this uh, bypass with erase all data. And this basically ensures that the device is gonna be fully unlocked once the process is finished. So right now, let it run through. And once it's finished, I'm gonna come back and well, complete the setup there so you can see that it did go as planned. Okay, so as you can see, the reset has finished. So let's go to the setup. And again, I'm gonna set it up as quick as I can, skipping basically everything that I can, but at this point, you can set it up as far as you like. I'll point out one thing though right here. Um, as you can see, Wi-Fi connection is now an option, which when the device is locked, uh, set up offline just kind of disappears. It's not even here. So we can be sure that well, the device is right now unlocked because we can skip Wi-Fi. And there we go. So as you can see, that is how you would bypass the Google verification on this HTC Desire. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.